I used to work with players like Wayne Selden, Ryan Angola. If your warm-up routine is stale, I'm gonna show you a five-minute dynamic warm-up I used to do with them so that you can do it too. The first exercise is a bear hold, and we're gonna get ourselves into a good position and warm up our body. I'll come down into a bear position where my shoulder, elbow, and wrist are in line. My hip and knee are also in line. You can imagine that there's a flame lit here, and I wanna get as far away as I can from that flame. After I push my hands into the floor, I'm just gonna take my hips and tuck them under me so that I'm not super arched with my back. From here, I'm just gonna lift my knees off the ground, maintaining that push. And now I'm gonna take a really deep breath in with my nose. I'm gonna exhale out of my mouth. And while I'm doing so, I'm pushing the floor even further away and keeping my knees and my legs stable in that position. If you do this exercise correctly, you're gonna feel a ton of core and your body temperature is going to increase. This is a really good way to get our bodies into a nice primed position for our dynamic movements, which we will progress to. Once I finish the bear hold, I'll reset myself and now I'm just gonna do a bear hold position with the hip lift into the air. So I'll lift my knees off the ground, hips in the air. I'll lift my heels off the ground, drop my heels back towards the ground and then reset myself into that starting position. That would be one repetition hips, heel lift, heels down, reset. As I'm bringing my hips up in that position, I wanna push the floor away again and let my breath out. You're gonna do that for six repetitions. Now I'm gonna do two foot freestyle jumps in place at a 60% intensity. You can put your hands on your hips or you can keep them to the side. I'm basically just jumping in random formations here. I'm not thinking too much about where I'm jumping. I wanna create a randomized selection here and keeping in mind going forwards, backwards, left and right, hitting all of those angles. Next I have my basketball. I'm gonna go into an in and out cross to my left hand, in and out cross to my right. I'm gonna repeat this for 20 to 30 seconds. Last thing we're gonna do is that in and out cross movement. We're gonna go from sideline to sideline, thinking about changing my speed and my direction with that outside plant foot every single time that I do the in and out. And that's a brand new five minute dynamic basketball warm up for you, just like the pros are doing. Subscribe to me if you want more insight from a professional strength and conditioning coach.